Ready? Okay. All right, we're going into Christy Combs' room right now, and I'm going to let Ms. Combs tell you a little bit about, uh, more specifically about what's going on. Come on in. Ms. Combs? Hey. Tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Okay, what we're doing today is the English Nine classes are studying Cast of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe. There's three um, main features of this story that all deal with atmosphere, mood, and tone. So that's kind of what we're trying to recreate with our rooms. This room is a carnival room, which is one of the first settings uh, in the story. Then Miss Oliver has a catacombs room, which is where the story ends. Uh, Mr. Campbell has taken on the persona of Poe himself to discuss the tone that he's trying to create. And then Miss Bergenson has a sensory room where students can go in and experience sensory details for themselves as Poe describes them in the story and then write about them. Very good. I wish we had the... Uh the PowerPoint and the, and the video up there that I saw a while ago, really uh, very relevant in that it was uh, pretty scary stuff on, on Halloween. We're going to walk next door to Ms. Burgess's classroom and uh, and we'll talk a little bit about what she's doing. Thank you, Ms. Combs. Thank you. We'll just walk right over here. Come on. Ms. Burgesson? Yes. I should say, which Burgesson? <laughs> Please Thank forgive you. me. Please tell a little bit about what we're doing in here today and how this uh, how this is a cross curricular lesson and and how it's uh, how we're, we're tied in not only Miss Collins' class but other classes. Please fill fill everybody in. Right sure. Here. Well, we are um, for Halloween. We wanted to do something a little bit special, and um, there's nothing more Halloweeny to read than um, than Edgar Allan Poe. So we're we're talking about the Cask of Amontillado. And I'm using that to, to teach about how sensory details help to evoke a kind of mood and um, different tones in literature. And so we, we're working together to, to create different rooms where we can kind of also make that actually a physical um, description of the mood. So once, once, once we get this done, now how do we relate that? We, once, you, once you've discussed it, you guys are going to write about it. Tell a little bit about that. And that's where, that's where we're, we're tying it into our actual right. lesson. Well, in this class, we're focused on... Um, for this one, we wanted to do this for the freshman composition students, <laughs> and to, to teach them how to use their own, how to cre come up with words that are going to create these kind of moods, moods that Edgar Allan Poe does in his work. So we're using it as a mentor text, um, and then they're going to actually come back and do a little writing assignment um, where they describe something and create a mood with the types of words they're using to describe it. That's so, awesome. So if you right would this. walk right over here, I want to show you something. Else. You hit the lights, Miss Burns. Sure. If you would, and right <laughs> here, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this was was meant to be or not meant to be. I don't know if I like it or not, but I know when I came in this room, if you would film the the, the picture right there, if you look up there on the uh, on the tombstone, it's my name. I don't like that. <laughs> and so uh, I don't I don't know if, if that was uh, accident or, or, or not, but uh, we're going to walk next door now. We're going to walk over here to the catacombs across the hall. Come on, walk with me. Thank you. Can I interrupt you a second? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm going to turn on the lights, but come on in. If you would get a picture of all of this right here, we are actually in the catacombs in, of Rome right now. And Miss Oliver, if you come up here and tell a little bit about what we're doing, please. This is Miss Mary Oliver, one of our ninth grade English teachers. Um, well, we're trying to give the kids a historical background for part of the setting of the Cask of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe. And so we've done a little PowerPoint that shows lots of different details about the catacombs and what role they played in history. And so the students are now listening. They have a handout, and they're using the different uh, passages from the text of the story, and we're trying to help them understand how setting can create mood in a story. Um, so I hope it's something they've enjoyed because it's been a really fun thing for us all to do and to share together. That's great. And if you would look around, you can look, I know right up here, our art classes have done the artwork and actually did the paint, the drawings up there. Mm -hmm. So just get that real quick. That's, that's awesome. And uh, if you would look right up here, we have a, 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 I know we've had other pictures of the catacombs. And uh, I see right now we've got pictures of the catacombs, but I know we've had a number of, of, uh, of visual effects. So very exciting. And we're going to walk next door. Now we're going to have a short interview with Mr. Edgar Allan Poe himself, who is in the next, who is next door. And uh, so let's go next door. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir. Everyone.
I'm sorry if you would start. If you come on in, you can see the mood is very dark in here. We have candles and and uh, and, and things going on. But what I'm going to do right now is we're going to turn on the lights, and uh, we have a special guest. Mr. Edgar Allan Poe himself is here. Mr. Poe, how are you doing? Morning. What uh, what exactly are we are we doing in here, sir? Well, we're doing a little bit of a study on my life and on my work, more specifically on my work, The Cask of the Amontillado, which I wrote several years back, which is one of uh, my more um, creepy and conniving short stories, to say the least. And we are studying it with uh, several different students. Over a period of time, we'll go through the whole work. And when they come in my room, of course, we learn about myself and the reasons why I am the way I am and why, the, why I write the way I write. And we learn a little bit about the tone and the mood of my work and specifically my life and why it is that my work's translated so darkly and in such a macabre manner. May I ask about the prop right there, uh, the, uh, the bird? Could you explain that very briefly? Oh, the raven? Yes, sir. This is my friend, Igor. He joined me today because he doesn't like it outside. He enjoys to stay with me, so I brought him inside with me. He's been good the entire time. He hasn't attacked anybody yet, although I can't guarantee everyone's safety for the rest of the day. I just don't know. Well, I want to thank you very much for coming, thank sir. I know you were very busy, a uh, renowned author. And uh, this is Miss uh, Miss Murray's class, and Miss Murray has uh, so kindly allowed us to come in. Thank you, Miss Murray. And thank you so much for, for this uh, 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 cross-curricular uh, lesson that we've had. So, I'm going to sign off right here. It's always a great day to be at Bob Jones, but I'm going to tell you today might be even a notch above. I hope everybody has a good rest of the day, and I will talk to you soon.